go to jail. You know, he doesn't get to spend his last days on Rikers, which it wouldn't have bothered me one bit. The justice system failed us. I have to live the rest of my life without my sister. Well, it is case closed, at least in the justice system. But for one Portage family, there is little joy or relief in the closure they got in court today. The man accused of mowing down crowds of people in Times Square five years ago will not be going to prison. Our Maria Serrano joining us live in studio to explain how he got to the verdict after this horrific tragedy in 2017 that killed a teenage girl from Portage. Maria. Andy, Erica, the trial for Richard Rojas in New York City lasting a month and a half. Today Today, the jury had the final word, declaring Rojas not guilty for 18-year-old Alyssa Elsman's murder or the assault that nearly killed her younger sister, Ava. Five years, one month, and four days after Richard Rojas smashes his car into crowds of Times Square tourists, a verdict is in. So I'm a parent, you know, that's my, that's my little girl. Right? Tom so Elsman's like, little girl, 18-year-old Alyssa Elsman, is the only one who had her life snatched away. The Portage Central High School graduate's father says time has not made it any easier. It doesn't matter five seconds, five minutes, five days, five years, every day I wake up and I know she's not here anymore. So it, it's, it's terrible. Alyssa was in New York City on vacation with her family. Her little sister, Ava, survived the crash but spent weeks in the hospital with a broken pelvis and collapsed lung. She's 18 now, you know, and she, um, at the end of the day, yeah, she, she's traumatic to her life. She hears a car rev or something, and she just, it makes her go in bad places. A New York City jury found Rojas not responsible for Alyssa's murder or any other charge he faced, quote, by reason of mental disease or defect. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg says in a statement, quote, our condolences continue to be with the family, friends, and loved ones of Alyssa Elsman, who suffered a terrible and tragic loss, and all of the victims of this horrific incident. The judge says Rojas will be committed to a mental health facility instead of prison. It's not justice for Tom Elsman. He believes what Rojas did was calculated and intentional, not insane. There's no forgiveness. This guy knew what he was doing. The judge indicated he'll draft an examination order that will be reviewed in court tomorrow morning. This means Rojas will be in custody until then. And we are following breaking news at this hour out of Albion. The Department of Public Safety there confirming to News Channel 3 that an officer is on leave after shooting a man who police say pointed a gun at them. Police say this started with a mental health call just after 515, but escalated when officers confronted the man at a relative's home on North Eaton Street, a few blocks north of the Kalamazoo River. That's where News Channel 3's Chris Yu is now live. He has been there for the past hour. And Chris, we've been learning a lot of information over the course of the last hour about what happened in Albion from public safety. What can you tell us and what are you seeing out there right now? And in Erica, Michigan State Police have this section of North Eaton Street blocked off after police say an officer shot a man around 6.30 tonight. Now, police say it all began when family members told them that the suspect was threatening to kill another relative. A short time later, three Albion officers uh, got word that the suspect was trying to break into the home of the relative who he threatened. That relative escaped through the back door. Police say the officers then confronted the suspect suspect who turned toward them and raised a gun. Police say they told the suspect several times to drop his weapon, but he would not listen. An officer then fired, hitting the suspect who dropped to the floor. He was taken to a hospital. Now, a woman on scene told us that the man who was shot and killed was her brother. Police have not confirmed that information and no names have been released. Meanwhile, the officer who fired the shot is on paid administrative leave tonight per standard protocol as Michigan State Police investigates.